A direct TV cable technician from Asheville is in jail tonight. He's accused of stealing from the home of an elderly couple that he was supposed to be helping. And late today, News 13's Mario Boone learned the suspect might be tied to more thefts. He joins us live from Arden, where the suspect worked. Mario, tell us more about this man. Well, his name is David Fury, and this is his mugshot. He used to work here at this direct TV contractor. That was until cops busted him for stealing from the home of his clients. When a storm knocked out JV and Marcel Suttles' direct TV box, the 80-year-old's called customer service for help. Sent to fix the problem was 26-year-old David Fury. But the Suttles say Fury only helped himself. We showed him the TV and the box. And while he was in here, he took, I opened the drawer, and I keep all my jewelry here. And he took all that, $1,500 worth of her jewelry, yellow gold stuff that could be melted down. Debbie Hill is the Suttles' daughter. She believes Fury swiped the jewelry while he was left alone in her parents' bedroom. It makes me not want to have any other repair people into their home. Because I'm, I'm afraid for them now. McDowell County Sheriff's detectives eventually traced the stolen jewelry to an Asheville pawn shop. That led them to Fury and this direct TV contractor in Arden known as Mastec. I went there seeking comment, but workers refused. And this one was hanging on the wall over there. Mrs. Suttles got most of her jewelry back, but she's a little less trusting. Before I left, she offered some motherly advice for the suspected thief. Please quit doing the things you're doing and clean up your life. Now, when Furry was arrested here at work, cops allegedly found drugs on him. He faces possession-related charges as a result. And new tonight, McDowell detectives telling me that they, they are looking into the possibility that Fury might have stolen from other homes he serviced. Reporting live on the South Side tonight, I'm Mario Boone, News 13.